The building material, el material de construcción, piedra granito, the granite, okay, granite stone, the pink granite stone. Es una piedra muy dura, muy fuerte, muy pesada teniendo en cuenta el tamaño. They are so heavy, of course, each of them, but also they are really tough, you know, really hard, this building material. Each of them, please, each of them 90 tons, approximately, 90 tons. Four, eight, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six blocks. You can see smaller stones down behind of you with only 50, 60 tons. 1997, a lot of archaeologists discovered below of each of them, below of each stone, the remains of cedar trees like a rollers. Okay, trees like a roller, cedar trees. Yes, how do they climb mountains, ramps, and a sloping surface? Very unique pictures, interesting pictures, where the people from here, from Ollanta y Tambo, they proved to everyone, they showed to everyone how they did it, how they moved stones from there to here, they did it. Fotos reales donde los pobladores de esta zona mutan. Let's one more time from the place where you are right now. Let me show you the quarry, okay? That stone quarry. Oh, where is that? ¿Veis la montaña oscura? Can you see the dark, the black mountain up there? ¿Veis la montaña oscura? Negra, ya? Detrás, behind of that mountain, is that stone quarry. According to the new research, you know, 15 people are able to meet one ton. 15 people per one ton. I say 60, say 90. 900 people, sometimes more than a thousand people per only one stone. You read the population in Pisa? 1,000. The population here, the population here, same. That is not one stone. 1,000 people. People from different cities. Such as Pisa, much Beach, who's going from here to build cities. Help them want to build their places. How long? Three and a half months for only one stone. Why did they choose? Why did they build the Sun Temple in here? Why did they not up there? Todos los años, every year, during the winter solstice, in this hemisphere, winter solstice, June 21st, winter solstice. It's really easy to see the Southern Cross, the constellation, okay, the Southern Cross, right next to the profile. Junio, very early in the morning. Temprano en la mañana, mira la constelación, the constellation. Pocos minutos después, only a few minutes later, what happened, Polaris, the sunrise. Look at this. Where was the Southern Cross before? Donde estaba la cruz del sur antes. Mira, 21 de junio. Y en ese momento, just in that moment, the sunrise, the sunlight hit this area. The sun temple meeting by the sunrise. The first rise, can you see? And one more time, the Southern Cross. Y una vez más, la cruz del sur aquí y here. Where? Donde? Encuéntrame, help me please to find the Southern Cross. Donde? Aquí, right here, mirame. For Andean people, for Incas, the, the Southern Cross. Para la cruz, para, perdón, para la cosmovisión andina, para el mundo andino, la representación de la constelación llamada Cruz de Sur es esto. Pero está incompleta, it's unfinished. They couldn't finish, they never finished. But why they never finished the final battle? Look at the last fight against Spaniards took place in here, in the 15th or the 6th. I mean, when Spaniards came here, the laborers, the workers, they, are, they ran away. They escaped to the jungle and they left on the way. Look at please, just behind of you. Look how they left on the way, the huge stones. This is just the first part of the table.